I'm going to talk about the musculoskeletal system, which includes bones, joints, and muscles. Bones are made of connective tissue. They are hard and are what form our skeleton. Bones are alive, and what I mean by this is they have nerves, they have blood vessels, Bones go through growth phases, so they're very much alive. Joints connect bones together with the help of ligaments. And joints allow for movement. There are different types of joints. There are hinge joints. For example, the elbow and the knee. And there are ball and socket joints. For example, the shoulder and the antebellum which is the hip joint. Muscles move body parts or move along body processes. What I mean, for example, is smooth muscle moves along the process of digestion. Muscles are connected to bones by tendons. I'm going to go over some of the major bones you should be aware of. The orbits refers to the eye orbit. The zygomatic bone, the nasal bone, the maxilla is the upper jaw bone, and the mandible is the lower jaw bone, the frontal skull bone, the sniphoid bone, temporal bone, parietal bone, and occipital bone. The skull bones are connected to each other by sutures. The clavicle, aka the collarbone, the scapula, the sternum, the ribs, vertebrae, the ilium, the pubis bone, and the ischium. I'm going to go over bones of the extremities. The humerus, the upper arm bone. The ulna is on the pinky side. So it is this bone. The radius is on the thumb side, which is this bone. The carpals and metacarpals and the phalanges refers to the fingers. The femur is the thigh bone. The patella is the kneecap. The tibia is on the big toe side. It's this bone. And the fibula is on the pinky toe side. It's this bone. The tarsals, metatarsals, and the toes are also called phalanges. There are three different types of muscles. Voluntary, involuntary, and cardiac. 
voluntary muscle, aka skeletal muscle, is consciously controlled to produce movement. So voluntary muscle, aka skeletal muscle, is consciously controlled. Involuntary muscle, aka smooth muscle, is not consciously controlled. It's involved in automatic functions. Like I mentioned earlier, smooth muscles involved in uh, moving along digestive processes. It's involved in blood vessel dilation and constriction. Cardiac muscle is only found in the heart. And it is involuntary and has a property called automaticity which means it's able to create and generate its own electrical impulses. And that concludes this video on the musculoskeletal system.